Yo, microfans, it's gone. And we got a little bit of Magnetograph today. We're going to look at some of the energy stuff in Magnetograph. So there's a couple different things that Magnetograph does for energy. And the two main things are electricity and heat. And the electricity is actually, it's based off of Red Power's Bluetricity mod, which is, you know, there's voltage and amps and joules of storage. And it doesn't work the same as like Project Red stuff. Project Red is actually a little different than that, but it's basically, it's pretty much based off of real world electricity. Uh, so we have a um, basic generator here. We're feeding it water with the Magnetograph water block. And if we stick some fuel in here, eventually what'll happen is once it gets heated up, it's gonna generate electricity. So once it gets to 100 Celsius, which is when water boils, we'll get some steam. And then you can see the voltage increase and then there's some power coming out in wattage and then that is stored in the battery in joules and once the voltage gets high enough it'll start putting uh, power into this thing so there we go alright so that's a basic you know basic generator just with solid fuel and then we have a similar setup over here so the other thing that Magnetograph uses is heat so here's a heat, this is a firebox, you put solid fuel in here and it generates heat. And this is going to do the same thing, the heat transfers to the basic generator and it's going to do a similar thing. Once it gets to 100 Celsius, the water is going to boil and turn to steam and we're going to start getting voltage and wattage and that's going to be stored in the battery once the voltage goes up and we'll get some dual kil kilojoules in there. So the heat and the energy actually are work independently or work together actually not independently and then s another thing to note is the way the power system actually works is all of the power actually flows through different blocks so this is just a creative energy cell just a way in creative mode to uh, generate electricity so we're putting electricity into this is basically a furnace an electric furnace so there's voltage in here and then because this block is connected to the power block and then this one is connected through a cable to here so the voltage flows through blocks that take electricity it also flows through the power cables so we have another power cable that goes into this furnace and then this one's connected to it and so it gets voltage so all these things transfer voltage together and it actually kind of regulates out so if you have a bunch of blocks that you know a bunch of machines hooked up to your your power system the power is going to kind of be distributed evenly so one thing to note is like here's a bunch of furnaces and a bunch of um, power cables so if I stick that in there we're going to get some voltage here and we're going to get some voltage back here you don't actually need to power connect these with power cables because the power is actually flowing through all the other blocks so Yeah, so the voltage is going down, but all I have to do is feed power into this one machine, and it's going to feed power through the other machines in, into the other one. Now, another thing to note is the heat works pretty, pretty much in a similar fashion. So here we have a heater which takes electricity and turns it into heat. So we can power this from another creative cell, and this should eventually turn on. There you go. It turned red. And then here's another. We have a heat cable and the heat's going to flow through the heat cable it's also going to flow through this heat device which is a firebox so here you can see the firebox is getting actually hotter because the heat from the heater is flowing into the firebox it's actually flowing out the other side of the firebox and going into here so the voltage is climbing or the heat is climbing here to another basic generator which I don't have a water thing for this but once this gets 100 celsius it would generate electricity so the electricity and the heat all flow and this whole thing will distribute and you can run it actually backwards so if I were to put um, you know coal and water into this thing it would generate heat as well as electricity it would fill up the battery it would also put heat into the rest of our heat circuit so these things do all interconnect and then another thing to point out is and I don't know if this is just kind of a bug or not but we have another creative energy cell and it is like we have a uh, this is Ender IO and it takes RF the block doesn't actually connect to there but we have an 
Ender IO power cable, and any RF power cable seems to be doing this right now. Uh, this is the Vivo Tech Pack, but some other mods will do this. So you can see I'm actually getting RF from the Magnetocraft voltage, uh, and this may currently be a bug, like it doesn't work with cables directly attached, but like Magnetocraft cables directly attached, but an, an RF accepting cable attached to a Magnetocraft machine will generate RF. So this may currently just be a bug, and it may be in different mod packs, but it's something to note if you're running your Magnetocraft power next to your RF power lines, you may want to be wary that this is going to happen. And then we have a different thing over here. We have the low voltage being converted to medium voltage. So this generator, I can stick power in here, and we got power and water, and once this gets to 100, it'll generate some steam, it'll generally generate electricity, and uh, this is generating heat, so there's the temperature, it's right about 100 Celsius, and then there's some voltage in here, so low voltage is coming out, being converted to medium voltage, we're converting it back down to low voltage, and we're storing it in our battery, so once the voltage gets up to this, it'll start storing stuff in here. So basically the electricity flows in any direction and it does move around. And then we have the these power lines with the, the electrical poles. There's, there's two versions. There's electrical wooden pole and electrical wooden pole with transformer. And you can see there's the transformer. And these actually work. Um, they do conduct electricity. You need the heavy copper coil, which is the version of it and you can click anywhere on this power pole there's actually like a hit box on the center uh, tap of the thing not on the sides but you can actually just click anywhere so I can click here and I can click there and you'll see the wires connect and if we actually get some power in here we can connect this whole st string and we'll see some voltage start to climb up in here so these power poles will actually use up long distance transmission. You can send power through these. It's only low voltage. And you can see we got some power cables over here. They only connect on the sides. So when you place down one of these electrical poles, you're only going to get be able to tap the power from the sides. You're not going to be able to tap power from the front or the back. You can see these cables don't connect. And you also can't connect any cables to the poles that don't have the transformers. You just use those as a relay. So if you have a long distance between two buildings, you put one of these with the transformer at the building. And then there's a distance, I think it's 15 blocks that you can go maximum. So you go 15 blocks, place one of these, another 15 blocks, place another regular pole. And then when you get to your next building, you put another transformer pole. And then you just tap the power off of that. And again, the way the power flows through these, it kind of evens out. So you can actually get power flowing in both directions on this. It's kind of dependent. Oh, there's our heat. It's working pretty good. We should probably get some water flowing into that. Sterling generators? Yeah, Sterling generators. And I showed a tutorial for one of these earlier. This has a heat I.O. and it has a power I.O. So I got like a battery. We stuck some coal in here and it generated a little bit of electricity. I tested a bunch of this dust different stuff out. You can actually send heat into the heat I.O. port on this and it will generate electricity and vice versa. Again, because the whole system evens out, if you have more electricity than heat, it will send heat out and if you have more heat than electricity it will send electricity out so that's another thing to think about when you're setting up all your magnetic craft machines and you're hooking up all your connections and stuff like that so the heat and the the electricity are pretty much interchangeable I mean you can go from one to the other and you also have to be wary that it will go from one to the other so like we have some different strings of different things that I tested out so like we go from using fuel in, in a firebox to heat up one generator and it will send power to the battery. <laughs> uh, so there's two ways to actually convert heat to electricity. You can send it straight into uh, a generator or you can actually convert the heat to steam and send it to a steam engine. So that's a little bit of a tip. Hopefully that will help you understand how all this magnetic craft power works because it gets a little weird in practice if you're not really sure how it all works. Uh, so hopefully this will help you out, and thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody who likes and subscribes, and we'll catch you guys later.